get some caffeine, and let's get ready together. Hello. <laughs> this is like, gotta make sure it's recording. This is my first video. And I am like so nervous to film it, but also like excited. I'm trying to tell myself it's like not nervous energy. I'm just excited because this has been a long time coming. I have been thinking about starting a YouTube channel for years. Like, let's be real, years. And just gonna do it this year. Like, 2024 is the year. So, I figured for my first video, it only makes sense that we just get ready and get to know each other. I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you might know a little bit about me, but I just figured it would be the best way to start. And I know it was so funny when I talked on my Instagram story about starting and thinking about this and just trying it and doing it. A lot of you were like, perfect, because I need to learn how to do makeup. And I'm like, well, I'm definitely not a professional makeup artist, but I figured this would be a good video to start because we can just get ready and I can show you how I do my daily makeup that I do every day and yeah. So I got this for Christmas. It's just the Vaseline Lip Therapy Rose, Rose Rosy Lips. Yeah, I just put this on because I, I don't know if you can see that. Um, a little piece of like skin came off this morning and it is tender, so. Okay, I guess I should start with, I have pretty dry skin. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know, I talk about my eczema a lot. I have a couple spots on my neck that are just finally healing and a spot right here. Um, so they're just healing, which is great, but I have dry skin. And so I prefer the glowy look. I do not prefer matte. I do not like, for me, matte just looks like cakey on my skin. So I try to go more natural. Um, but I'm going in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I love this stuff. I have never tried, it's supposed to be a dupe for, I think Charlotte Tilbury. I've never tried that one, so I can't even tell you if it's a dupe, but I go in with that and then I always wear SPF. I live in Nebraska, it's winter time. The sun isn't even out today, so I hope the lighting is okay, but I'm just using natural lighting because Again, this is my first video, I'm not claiming to be a professional, um, but I do wear SPF every day. And I do work from home, so even if I don't go outside, I still wear SPF just in case, because you never know. And I know you're supposed to, It's it helps with aging too, like I know you have benefits for that. Um, but I just went in with the Wonder Screen from Dime Beauty. And they just came out with a lighter version and they're, my friend was like, no, two is fine for me. It should be good for you. And I, I think it's fine, but I think the lighter shade might be better. Like, I'm like, you forget how pale I actually am. Um, but okay, so did primer and did sunscreen. And now I'm gonna go in with the NYX Bear With Me uh, Concealer Serum. Um, I always do concealer first. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it helps. Um, so I just go in right here. I feel like this is more of a tutorial than getting to know me. So let me give you some facts about me. So I am 25. Like I said, I live in Nebraska. I have lived here my whole life. I don't know any different. Um, I always tell people I'm from a small town and they're like, yeah, me too, of like 15,000 or 20,000 or 40,000. And I'm like, yeah. Your small is definitely different than mine. Um, my small is 650, and it might be even less than that now. Um, so, a very small town in Nebraska. Um, I have not been out of the state many times. Um, well, I literally had been to like four states until I graduated high school. Um, when I graduated high school, um, I then went to meet my boyfriend's now fiance's family in Oklahoma, which made me add Kansas and Oklahoma and Nebraska, South Dakota, Iowa, and Colorado. But before that, I had only been to Nebraska, South Dakota, Colorado, and Iowa. So like four states. But we have definitely branched out. Um, obviously, my fiance's family lives in Oklahoma. So we've been there. Um, we're actually going to Vegas in April. We went to Germany, like totally out of the out of the country in last April for my friend's wedding. So definitely branching out and 
Um, like I said, I have a fiance. We've been together for eight years. It'll be nine in September, which is also crazy to say. We are getting married this year and going on a honeymoon in Europe. So that is also very exciting. And I had never been on a plane until the summer before we went to Germany. So I went to St. Louis um, for like a, I guess you could call it like a convention. Um, I am a partner with Body, so I help women um, with their like health and fitness goals and stuff like that. And so we went for like the annual convention. Um, and that was the first time I've ever flown. And I was like, well, at least it's, it was only like an hour and a half flight, but at least it was a good like flight to lead up to the big like overseas flight. So that was nice. But I just went in with um, this color plot, color pop, I'm gonna say color plop. Um, hyaluronic tinted moisturizer again I don't think it has a ton of coverage but I love the way it makes my skin look and feel um, the NYX concealer has more coverage so that's why I put it in more of the areas that might need a little bit more coverage and then I go in with this um, tinted moisturizer from Colourpop and then as you saw I did the contour shade fair light from elf just went in with this and tapped it in with my finger I feel like it tapping it works best for me because it doesn't have any it doesn't get rid of any of the products, so you can just see it there. Um, and then I go in with a bronzer, like a bronzing shade. I have this one from Anastasia. It's warm tan. And this one from Revolution. <laughs> Clearly, this one's well-loved. If you can see it, it definitely, I hit pan. Um, I got this one in BoxyCharm, so I've been using this up. Uh, but I think this one is very comparable to the Revolution one. But I want to get through this one because, obviously, I have it. But... Anyways, so back to me. I work from home. I, um, when I first started my job, we were in office. And then, of course, with COVID, we went home. And now they try to do hybrid, but we're pretty much still working from home, which is, which is great. Um, I don't know. I don't know. There's not much else to talk about. Um, I'm pretty boring. We don't do a ton. I've been, some of the things that I've been loving over the last, like, year in like 2023 like i've really gotten into like puzzles again um i love to read i love romance um like rom romance romance books and just a guilty pleasure i guess <laughs> um i used to love reading in high school and then i kind of got out of it and then i refound my love for reading and i read every night before i go to bed and last year my goal was to hit 30 books and I think I hit 31 and that was only the romance category. I also read um, like personal development or like personal growth in the morning um, just to like better myself. It's just part of like my morning routine. Um, I've done that for a f years now. Um, again, I've been like a partner with Body for since 2019 so ever since then i've been really big into like personal growth and just growing as a human <laughs> and i feel like personal development books really really help me with that um because it teaches me how to like cope and work through things and you know and i have anxiety i am very open about that on my instagram if you follow me there um just because I know I'm not the only one that struggled with it. And I didn't really know the symptoms of anxiety until like I went to a doctor. And so that's why I like to share about it and what helps me and what works for me. Um, but yeah, so um, recap of what I just did. I went in with the Milani Cheek Kiss Nude Kiss Blush. I always do blush like on the outer of my cheek here on both sides. Sometimes I'll bring it in a little bit more, but for me, I just like it like out here for me. Um, again, this is the Moni Cheek Blush, Cheek Kiss Blush and Nude Kiss. This is 110. Definitely well loved if you can see. <laughs> Definitely hitting pan there. And then I went in with the Halo Glow Beauty Wand uh, Illuminator from e.l.f. It's just a highlight. I usually go over the highlight again with like a powder highlight, but that's what I just did there. I always go in with two powders. I feel like it's overkill, but you know, whatever. Um, I've been using this Bare Minerals Original Veil translucent powder under my eyes and then i go in with the uh celestial light laura mercier powder also a tip if you're not like a 
beauty guru <laughs> I, like i don't claim to be one of the things i have learned um from not only like from youtube but everything from like people and tips is when you go in with your powder you see how it's creasing kind of underneath my eyes i don't know how good this is gonna be able to like come across on camera but it's like your concealer is going to start to settle in your lines which everybody has lines if you don't like i'm jealous <laughs> um but you go in and make sure to set your concealer so those lines are gone and then go in with your powder because if you go in when you're they're creased or when it has a crease you're going to be setting the creases and you want to make sure you're not doing that then i'll go in with the laura mercier powder all over the rest of my face okay now i'm going to go in with brows so after i set my makeup i just let it sit for a little bit just so that i can fully set i don't know if that makes sense <laughs> But I've been loving this Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I got this in my BoxyCharm. So I used to get BoxyCharm. Um, and then I canceled my subscription at the end of uh, 2023 just because um, I'm getting married. And I have been going through like a budgeting, budgeting like, um, not course, but I've been just going through a budgeting, um, I don't know what you want to call it, like a budgeting era of my life. Um, where obviously we are trying to afford a wedding and I just know I'm spending money on things that I don't necessarily need. I feel like that's one of my goals for 2024 is to not spend as much on things I might not need. Um, definitely getting better about that ever since I like started tracking. Like I talk about this on my Instagram as well, but like I have been, um, tracking like all my expenses whether it's good or bad and like you obviously just co like compare like what's coming out like your regular expenses like your mortgage and things like that versus what you're bringing in um and it's just been eye-opening like looking and like before i didn't really i mean i cared but like i didn't care as much as what i was spending on because i didn't i was just saving for whatever right and then now that i actually you know the wedding is obviously a reason we need to save it gives me a little bit more perspective and, and i'm just getting a little bit more disciplined and um more focused i guess on it whereas i wasn't as focused and just kind of you know doing whatever yeah. And then I always set my brows with this clear brow gel from Anastasia. Um, I think I bought this when it was on sale, like for one of the Ulta Beauty Days. I love this one. It just like sets my brows in place. Um, what else? Like what else can I tell you about me that you might not know? Um, I guess I, again, I know I told you I grew up in a small town. I have an older brother and two younger sisters. Um, and we are really close. We're, we're all really close in age. So I feel like that helps too. Um, but we're really close. I'm really close to my parents. Um, we see them a lot. I mean, I guess not a lot, but like, we don't live that far from them anymore. Like we live like an hour and 20 minutes. So we see each other when we can. Um, I told you that we're getting married. Gary and I have been together for nine years, almost nine years. Also crazy. I just went in with the Mali Beauty uh, Ever Color Eyeshadow Stick Extra Velvet in Timeless Taupe. I am not huge on eyeshadow. I don't wear it every day. Um, usually I just get too lazy to be honest, but I love eyeshadow sticks and I really love this one. I literally just go in, like you saw, all over the lid and in my crease and then I just blend it out with a brush. And then I'm just going to take it a little bit underneath each eye here. And I'm going to go in and blend it out. And then because I didn't go in with any like eyeshadow, so... Okay, cool. that just happened okay well I'm, i was gonna show you this but then all of a sudden it just decided to like break on me what the heck that was so weird 
don't even know how that happened. Anyways, this is the Natasha Denona um, Ayana palette. I really like this one, but because I didn't go in with any shimmers, I just went in with that Mally Beauty um, eyeshadow stick. Okay, so now is it just like totally broken? Can I not even? I just put it back in the in the drawer here. <laughs> But because I didn't go in with any shimmer, I'm just going to put a little bit of this. This is the Milk, uh, nope, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese. It's just like a shimmery pencil. And I just always go in my, like, inner corner of my eye just to, like, brighten up my eyes. If you ever, like, are extra tired, like, this is my hack for you. I have this little highlight eyebrow thing. I also, this was from Essence, I'm pretty sure. And then look how little these guys are. And this one's from Wet n Wild. I don't even know if they make these anymore. But you could, I did see the other day, I was, like, creating, like, a list for the next video I want to film. My creative juices have just been flowing ever since I decided to just go for it and start filming. But I saw that Anastasia makes one, um, but it's just literally this cream. I'm pretty sure you can buy eyeliners like this as well, but I just have these and they were inexpensive. But just put these in your bottom eye waterline. Let me show you. Like, do you see the difference? Like this one obviously has it and this one doesn't. I just feel like it makes a world of difference. opens them up and makes you look more awake. Um, and I know I'm not gonna be able to talk through this, so I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal Infallible Cat Eyeliner. I have this one and I have the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I really just go between these two. I think they're both very similar. They're just like a felt tip liner. Um, and then I always just go across my top, uh, top, top waterline, so. Okay, perfect. So I am not good at doing wings. So if you're here for that, sorry to disappoint. <laughs> um, but I do know a lot of people will go from like their inner corner out. And I don't know if it just doesn't look natural on me or if I'm just not used to it or whatever. But I'm not very good at that. So usually I just go like I just do a line across my upper upper line, eyeshadow line, upper water line. Um, and call that good. And then before I go in with mascara, I usually like to set in my makeup a little bit. So I go in with a setting spray. This is the Anastasia Do Set. I got this one from BoxyCharm. I also really like the e.l.f. Stay All Night, or they have like a coconut dewy one, which is very gone, but. I usually go in with one of these and then I will put on my mascara just because the mascara is liquidy and it will flake if I do this after. Just tap in the mist a little bit and we're good to go. So then the last step for me is mascara. My favorite is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I feel like I can't branch out just because I have fallen in love with this one since it came out. And I do branch out sometimes and then I'm like, this is why I always go back to this one because I just love it. All right, there we go. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to talk to the mascara. I never can. I don't know like if you ever like realize when you're trying you're like with getting ready with other, other people and your like mouth is hanging open when you're doing your mascara i'm like it's just habit i just can't not do it it's just like talking i can't talk and do mascara it's just one of those things you can't can't do um but anyways i know this video is kind of all over the place but i just wanted you to get to know me this is my first video obviously a little nervous energy excited energy let's be real because i just have so many ideas and things i want to share with you guys and i just can't wait to do it and i hope this inspires you a little bit to kind of get out of your comfort zone in 2024 like it's a new year like it's gonna be a year of good growth i can just already feel it but like if you've been putting something off or been thinking about something for a while like i have just do it you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have all the right things. Like just, just go for it. Like it can make all the difference. And I just, it's this new journey. And I'm very excited for it. And I'm glad you're all here and took the time to watch. But yeah, if there's any like fun videos you guys want me to make or film or like even just like vlog style videos, I don't know. Just very excited for this journey. And I'm thank you for being here. But thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.